Hey, welcome to my channel. So today I want to show you part two of upgrading my electric blue day geckos into a bigger enclosure. So the first part, which I'll link on the screen, is where I made the background. And my second part, which is this video, is going to be the planting and how I mix the soil and the substrate. And I also want to get some springtails and a little cleanup crew for the tank to make it a bioactive enclosure. So we'll just get into the video and I'll show you what I did and how I planted the plants. Okay, here are the little guys that are getting the upgrades. So I have three of these, one male and two females. It's the male in the front there and you can kind of see one of the females to the right on the top. So they're in their current enclosure and they're going to be going to a much bigger one. So this is the enclosure that I'm making for them. I put the screen mesh on top of the hydro balls and then I mix the eco earth with a little bit of sand. So I add the sand for drainage. This is Zorro, he likes to help. And then I just pour the sand right into the tank and cover the mesh and the hydro balls, or sorry, the sand and the soil, I guess. These are with my two dogs and one dog that I'm babysitting or dog sitting. So I needed to make a second batch because there wasn't enough to cover. So here's my second batch poured over top. Next I get the plants ready. So these are plants that I've just bought at Home Depot and I'm going to take them out of their current pot and I like to get as much soil off as I can so I'm sure that the soil is safe that I'm putting into the enclosure. With these plants, they were mostly um, roots. They had to come out of these pots. They were outgrowing it so I couldn't get too much soil off. I don't want to take off enough that I harm the plants so I don't really want to rip any roots, but I just took off as much as I could. Next, I rinse off the plants just with some water just to get any chemicals or anything that may be on them off of them just to be extra careful that I'm not bringing anything unwanted into the enclosure, any bugs or anything at all. So once my plants are ready I take them over to the enclosure and I first just place them where I think I want them to go and then I can plant them in once I'm happy with how they are. I also have these plants that I've propagated from another plant so they have some roots. I put them in. I know that these ones are safe because I don't use any chemicals and they don't have any bugs or anything on them. I also use that 
um, powder that it just helps plants root into the soil if they don't have roots. I'm not sure if these vines are going to take off or if they're just going to die, but we'll see how it goes. Next I water the plants and I use a watering can and then I just use the spray sprayer to mist them. I'm going to let these plants just grow in and get really comfortable before I add any of the geckos. I know that this gecko enclosure is a little dirty and I should wipe down the glass and the leaves. I feel like I say this every time I show it, but these little guys, they're such escape artists and they move so fast. It's just absolutely horrible when they get out. So I go in there as little as possible. And of course, my cat Zoro has to check everything out. So here's the new enclosure right next to their current enclosure. And the next step is adding some bamboo, bamboo branches so that they can climb and get around and have something to hide on and move around on. So my boyfriend did this for me. He cut them to the right size and then we tried siliconing them in but that actually didn't work and it was pretty hard. So we just used some double-sided sticky tape and stuck them onto the glass. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for similar videos on all sorts of different animals. Bye.